the warning signs of MS can actually be very nonspecific. They can be symptoms that people who don't have MS have, such as numbness, it can be blurry vision, but the important distinction is that these are symptoms that persist. So in the case of optic neuritis, this would be inflammation of the optic nerve, it might be blurring of vision associated with eye pain. That might be an early sign or symptom of MS. Numbness can also be an early symptom of MS. Typically, this could be one side of the body or it could be just the fingers and toes. Another sign could be difficulty with balance. Again, it needs to be taken in consideration with the examination, MRI findings. So these can be nonspecific, but together it's a constellation of symptoms, exam findings, and MRI findings that really help us put all the pieces of the puzzle together. This is a good question. You know, we don't want to encourage over-surveillance of symptoms that could be entirely normal in a healthy person. But if these are persistent, uh, several days to weeks, unexplained, um, and progressive in particular, that would be perhaps something that should be investigated. In patients who present with symptoms such as numbness, balance difficulties, changes in vision, accompanied by fatigue, for example, Present to your primary care physician and screen and make sure you don't have high blood pressure or other medical conditions. Beyond that, then MRI of the brain and often the cervical spinal cord will be helpful to look for the plaques of MS. Multiple sclerosis is a disease of the nervous system characterized by attacks and then remissions. This is a disease that typically affects young people, often in the prime of their life. It affects women disproportionately to men, and it may present with symptoms such as I've mentioned, such as numbness, balance difficulties, change in vision, that can remit. And this is why it can be a challenge. Initially, symptoms are quite concerning, and then they go away. And patients wonder, maybe it was because I was sitting in a different way, or I was tired because I was working so hard and then they come back. So this is the challenge with MS, is trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together in conjunction with the examination, the MRI findings, and then hopefully we can give you the right diagnosis. MS can be a challenging condition to diagnose exactly because it is characterized by remissions. Patients might have an episode five years ago where they were numb on one side for three days, it seemed concerning, but it went away without any specific treatment. They forgot about it. Now they're back because their balance is off. And retrospectively, they might recall, oh yes, I had another episode of some neurologic symptoms before. But it's exactly because it is a disease characterized by remissions that can sometimes make it a bit of a challenge. Well, one good bit of information that we know now is that patients with MS who are on certain therapies are actually living much longer than they did in prior generations. So the prognosis is excellent. It's very important though to seek treatment, to undergo evaluation, and then to have those conversations with your care provider about which is the best treatment for you so that you can obtain all the benefits that really we have currently available.